something about uh, an efficient way to store and create and, and distribute uh, tests and quizzes. I'm going to go up here to my resources. Once I'm in Schoology, click on Personal. And from there, um, I am going to add a new resource. Let's say I'm going to make a test. And we'll let Schoology create it up. And we'll make it a test quiz. And max points, yeah, sure, 100 sounds fine. We'll make sure it's a grade 6. And I miss making this without uh, pushing it into any courses right now. That's going to be later. Let's say this is a uh, uh, kind of some sort of review thing for math. And I'm going to submit. And I'm going to continue to make my quiz. In Schoology, we can do true and false, multiple choice. We can uh, have kids do sort uh, ordering. Short answer, essay questions, fill in the blank, matching. And we can also make a page break or insert text into these uh, quizzes. So I'm going to just do a true and false thing real quick. I'm going to put in some stuff. Um, Mrs. Marshanda is a great cook. That's going to be true or false. I'm going to check that. And as you know, I can um, use all my text editing features and change the color of text and do all that. I can even I can even insert a web link into a question. And I think that's fantastic. I can also insert pictures. If I want to put a picture in, in, in my quiz, I can uh, attach a file to upload to it. I uh, hope this doesn't spin too much. But I think I'm fixing it on my Google Drive. Let's see. Sure. And I open it and I can drop that right in my quiz. So if you have some a visual, uh, like a diagram or something like that, you can insert it. Um, but let's say I want to align this to the right. Scroll down for update. And there it is on the right. And I can manually make it bigger or smaller. Uh, this true or false, I can make these anything I want. A yes or no or zero or one. Correct answer is Mrs. Mrs. Marchand is a great cook. I'm going to say that is true or else she will kill me. And from there, I will create this question. I can go through and, and uh, even insert tables and stuff. I can really make my quizzes and tests amazing. So let's say I have that. So now I'm all done. I'm going to go back to my resources. Now I'm not even in a course or a group. I'm just in a resource. And now I have this test quiz. Let's say since this is math or whatever I'm pretending it to be, I'm going to make a folder and call it math quizzes right there. And I can even put a description there. But here we go. Now I have my other folder. And I can take this and uh, I think I can move it. I'm going to copy it to my math quizzes. Um, oh. There it is, my math quizzes folder right there. So I'm going to copy it too. And now inside my math quizzes, oh, I have a copy of it. And uh, that should be good. I guess if you wanted to, you can make the folder first, but you can always move stuff around. So I'm going to go back here and delete this because I already have it in my math quizzes. I know that was confusing. But if you already know how you want to have it organized, you can make your folder first and put the quizzes in there. So now I have it here. I can use this quiz anytime I want, year after year after year. To use the quiz, I can simply go into that folder, grab that quiz, I'm going to highlight it, and um, I don't want to edit it, but I do want to add it to a course. So from here, I'll have all my courses. Now you're going to have your first hour, second hour, third hour, whatever it is. But I am going to just put it to my fake course. So I click on that, and I'm going to import it in there. I wonder what the advanced options do. Oh, I guess from here I can say, okay, now for this I'm going to assign it on this date, uh, and I want it visible at uh, 126. 
p.m. and it is you can select your grading there some people have uh, tests or projects or participation whatever and I wanted a numeric scale and it's going to be for four to two and if it's a big test I can set it as a final so I'm going to import that now the quiz remains here the quiz remains here but if I go into my other course my fake section there it is uh, right here ready to de be deployed to my students. So I think that's pretty good. You can unpublish it and leave it there, or you can actually copy it to other courses too. Right now it's in one of my uh, sections, so I would have them all listed here and I could check the boxes for each of the areas, uh, each of the course uh, sections I want to add it to. So uh, I think I just added it to the horse man area. Anyway, I better go delete that. So I'm going to go into the horse man and say, oh, let's see, my materials. Yeah, I don't want kids to see that. Oh, it's not there. I must not have done it. Anyway, uh, that's a little bit about how to build um, your tests. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you about. It's called a question bank. Uh, Mrs. Dementor and I noticed this. <clears throat> I can add a resource called a question bank. And a question bank is just going to be, I call it test bank, is just going to be um, you making a whole bunch of questions, hundreds of them. And you can, when you make a test, for example, uh, in my test bank, I'm going to make a question. I'm going to make this one a multiple choice. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to remove the blank so there are only two choices. And I'm going to create the question. Now this is in my bank. Oh, I must have at least one correct. Let's say this is the correct answer. Uh, you can have a whole bunch of these. This might be really good for math. Um, so in my question bank, I can have a whole bunch of questions. When I go back to my resources and I want to edit a math quiz not I don't always oops I was taping it whatever oh that's just gonna edit that I want to edit the questions there we go so here if I want to add a question now I can get one from my question bank and I'm gonna get it from my test bank you might call that you know Mesopotamia or whatever you're doing and I'm going to select that and add that question to my bank or to it to that actual quiz so that is that oops I better add that I don't know if I added that you guys are probably watching this going what are you doing there we go add question there we go oh it, it was added Okay, so there it is. Now, is that second multiple choice in the other one? I'm going to guess probably not. I'm going to go to my fake section and check and see if it's in there. Fake. There it is. I bet it's not because I already um, made a copy of it. Yeah, it's not. So it's best to make everything in your resources and then push them out to your sections. So hope that helps. Bye-bye.